What's up, David? It's Sean. Man, I, I always love interacting with you. You're always so nice and so cordial. And I feel like as a result of that, it would be wrong for me to not be completely honest about it. You know what I mean? So I know you're making this tier list for best worst entrance themes in wrestling, but the reality is for you, a tier list is an actual tier list for other people. And by, by that, I mean they're going to cry. It's going to be so bad by the end of this show that they're going to cry. They're going to be depressed. They're going to be bummed. They're going to be as lonely as that sad little chair that sits in the corner of your room. I saw it. I saw it on that video. While you're, you're holding your, your microphone up, it's got a stand, my man. It, it can hold itself up. David, my friend. Don't do it. Please reconsider doing this. I don't want you to make people sad, David. You're such a nice guy. Don't do this. Because the night will be the night that I will fall for you over again. This is episode 13 of the Pro Wrestling Podcast. Welcome. In case you haven't noticed, I actually have a golden voice, which means I think I know a thing or two about music. I figured I would try to give my analysis uh, via tier list on the best and worst entrance theme music for WWE in all of history. I got this tier list here. Um, I'm going to show it on the screen. Oh, bam. There it is. Wow. How you like that shit? So it's S through F, guys. So for those people that don't know much about tier list, S is the very best of what I, or what I think is the very best. And F is the most god-awful thing I've ever heard in my life, and I don't even know why it exists. But let's get started. Let's go down the list here, and let's get started with... Hmm. Oh, oh, would you look at that? That's Stone Cold Steve Austin, which if you listen to this show, I'm assuming you know everything about the Attitude Era. I'll play a little snippet of what that entrance song was like. <laughs> That's it. That's all you need to hear. That's pretty much it. And you know who it is. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take Mr. Stone Cold and I'm going to put him right in the S tier. It doesn't matter what age you are, who you are, if you like or dislike him, you will always 100% pop to that glass breaking all the time i don't care who you are that is the de the definition of the best theme song you like I, honestly i think ever wow ba bum ba bum ba bum wow wow ba bum ba bum ba bum wow let's move on to next on the list here looks like you know what let's let's uh let me close my eyes and See who we land on. Eddie Guerrero. There's a, there's been a few uh, changes to some of his theme songs. Uh, a little bit right before he died, he had uh, another one that was pretty good. Uh, but I'm primarily looking at the one that uh, people know him by uh, universally, which is uh, a lie, a cheat, a steal. So, Eddie Guerrero, the great late Eddie Guerrero. Where would I place Eddie Guerrero's theme music? I'm going to have to put Eddie's theme at a B. Because uh, it was great. But I don't think it was anything like a Stone Cold Steve Austin or, you know. But again, we're still early on the list. So who knows? We might get, I might have, to, I might change my mind here pretty soon, depending on who's on the bottom. Moving on. All right. Looks like we got, uh... Eugene. Eugene was a character. 
Eugene was uh, basically a guy portraying a mentally handicapped kid. And with that came a theme song that kind of matched his persona, which I always popped for as a kid. I was a big, I was, I was a Eugene fan. I gotta admit, I didn't find anything he did offensive or in, in any way. Definitely would not work in uh, 2022. There were some people that thought the gimmick was, you know, it shed some light on uh, autism and brought awareness and stuff like that. Uh, some people saw it positive. Some people, you know, obviously saw it negative. But it didn't. It, it didn't shy away from the fact that the theme music was exactly matched up perfectly with the character. Uh, the title is called Child's Play. If you guys want to check it out. It's a good like piano riff with guitar. It's pretty simple stuff. You're not not much you would expect out of a character like Eugene. So with that, I'm gonna give it a D. I'm gonna put it on the D tier here. In Ring was entertaining. It was fun. Uh, it was absurd. But just to be on the safe side, it, I mean, he was right in the middle. So D would be a perfect spot for him. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, whether we like it or not, was probably the most influential wrestler. I say was. He is probably the most influential wrestler that's been out there. I mean... Back back in the day, in the 80s, he was one of the biggest pro wrestling icons. He was on he was on serial, he was on cartoons, he was in movies, very bad movies. Like, who doesn't want to say, I am a real American all the time, you know what I mean? Like that that's great stuff. And I remember watching it was my first WrestleMania. WrestleMania 21 that I ever watched live on pay-per-view. And when he came out with Eugene, actually, uh, he, he saved Eugene and did his pose and did his thing for like, it felt like forever, but it was the greatest thing ever as for me as a kid to watch the guy come out. But I can't help it if I hear, I am a real, uh, I am a real American without have put having a big smile on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and give Hulk Hogan. I'm going to put Hulk Hogan next to Eddie as far as uplifting entrance themes and shit like that. I, I, I just think it, you can't you can't be unhappy when you listen to that song. All right. Next on the list is Chris. The Rock, The Rock, The Rock says, The Rock, The Rock says, The Rock, he's like, ah, you know what, The Rock is, The Rock's theme music, back in that era, the Jim Johnston era, I believe, was probably one of the best eras as far as music goes, that dude just had every hit after hit, and a lot of people like to equate Mikey Ruckus to that type of deal. Mikey Ruckus is good, but I don't think he's Jim Johnston good. That's just my opinion, guys. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and put The Rock right below Stone Cold Steve Austin, just like the way it should be. Gold Dust. I'm going to put that as an E. All right. Big Show. Well, it's a big band. Sorry. All right. Well, we'll put Big Show at a C. Because it's Big Show, man. Like, who, 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 
who's more memeable? Who has a more memeable entrance theme music than the Big Show? His theme song in AEW, I, I just gotta say, it, it is the most unintelligible thing I've ever heard in my life. And I get that they were trying to match up with his uh, old one, but he can't. So, yeah, C tier for the Big Show's theme. Let's move on. Okay. Adam Cole, baby. So, I would say that his old theme music was kind of basic at the time. It was cool at the time, but now that he's got this new one, he's going right next to the rock. You can't you can't sit there and tell me that you don't go boom whenever Mikey Ruckus starts singing that you know what it's all up. That that's a great song. I mean, I think it was number one for like weeks. It's great. It's a great song. It's catchy as fuck. All kind you know it. A tier is where it belongs, and that's where I'm sticking to it. Fuck you. Sorry, that was that was mean. Uh, we're going down to... I'm John Cena! For my friends at the Knucklehead Network. Toe. This theme, th- this theme song fucking slaps, bro. I'm going to say this is the most noticeably one, like... You know instantly who it is as soon as you hear it. Like, there's no theme songs like that anymore. So, with that, man, with that, I, I got to put my boy John Cena theme songs next to Stone Cold Steve Austin. And you're going to hate me for it. But, dude, I, it's like I bought his CD when it came out. Like, that's how much I believe in that guy. That's for another topic. We'll keep debating this until the day we die. This one's the big one. Undertaker, 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 Undertaker. Looks like we got Undertaker here. I think we already know what I'm going to do with that. So do I even need to explain the aura, the presence that this particular theme song has? When you hear the bell toll. No, I don't. So it's going on an S tier. There you go. Right next to John Cena. Look at all those legends in the S tier. Let's go over to the lady side. So Maria's. Legs like that. One of my favorite theme songs of all time. But she do got legs like that. She do. She do got legs like that. When did it come out? 2009? Yeah, it was very 2009-ish. Early 2000s had like the best uh, punk music that was out there, at least in my opinion. So, uh, for me, Maria, and you can't really see her face, but that's going right next to the big show. Just because, I don't know, it was too good to be a... It's too good to be a WWE song. Like, it almost felt like that could have been a top 20 hit on the punk uh, radio. Dominic Mysterio. Yeah, we're just going to put that right there. There we go. Actually, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, he's above, he's above you. Kurt Angle. So Kurt Angle has obviously one of the most uh, memorable ones. And I love how later on after, you know, he had these little promos where he would say, stop saying you suck. I'm going to not come out until I get the respect I deserve. And then like 10 years later, he starts embracing it. I'm not going to keep it on the D tier because it's on. It's going to be right here in the B tier. Um, it's just one of those great theme songs, man. Like, you and plus it's interactive. You know what? I'm gonna make it an A just because it's interactive. A for interactive. A- <laughs> no, it, just because it's interactive and the crowd can get into it by saying "you suck, you suck." I think that's great. I don't think uh, 
you know i rightfully so it's right next to adam cole because that's another one you can be interactive in uh very patriotic i gotta say i think that was another jim johnston one if i'm not mistaken uh and he had that for years and nothing not for nothing but kurt angle's a badass i don't care what anybody says man he brought he won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck all right and he likes milk i like milk you like milk all right dusty Rhodes. We went from an American gold medalist to the American dream. Uh, he's just a working man. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with the B on this one. Nothing wrong with that. I like it. So, so far I've noticed. I might go ahead and just, oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. So, so far I've noticed. I'm doing a lot of uncritiquing i'm just kind of like saying oh yeah i really like this um so i wonder if anything's gonna come up next that i'm gonna be like oh yeah that's f that's f um oh jbl like yeah you notice it yeah i have a lot of negative feelings towards this because he was such a fucking dick when he was a heel uh and he played it really well and um i hated him as a kid hated him and his theme song was just so <sighs> i don't even know what to say about it it was it wasn't like you didn't get you pumped up to go to the gym or anything it was basically just like a triumphant fucking horn sounding fucking thing and he would come out with that smug grin like he is right now in this picture you're going right next to eugene buddy good heel horrible theme song jeff hardy all right i really like no more words you're going right there next to big show maria it was that was a good song it's a paradox i was kind of mad that we like barely heard it when he came back and then he decided to leave. Like, he got it back. Like, he got the theme song back and then ended up leaving. And I barely heard it. Like, he barely had any matches. Uh, minus the one that he had with Karrion Cross not too long ago. I like No More Words. I used to blast it on the bus on my way to school just because I really liked the lyrics. And then in hindsight, you kind of realize that the lyrics are very... Uh, uh, what's the word? Um, cliche. Like, but the song still fucking rocks. That guitar solo. I don't know if you guys have heard it. You guys, you guys got to go check out No More Words fully to the fullest. All right. We're almost at the end of the tier list. Uh, looks like we got Rey Mysterio. So he's got two, one, two of them that I like. Um... So I like his original better. Who's that jumping out the sky? R-E-Y. That's my favorite. Because um, that's what I know him by. And not for nothing for those who like don't know much about me. Rey Mysterio is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Um, and this may be a little biased. But I'm going to put him. He's going right into the A. Because I think those two ones really had me uh, ready for SmackDown as a kid. He was one of my favorite. He still is. I mean, he's still going, but he's just he's worried about he's worried about this guy too much. He's worried about this guy way too much. I'm talking about Dominic, of course. Ray Ray can get over. Ray could sneeze and he'd be more over than Dominic right now. All right, how about MVP? Love that theme song. I wish he would come back out to it. Uh, he did for a little bit, and then he just stopped because obviously he comes out with Bobby Lashley now. So all you hear is Bobby Lashley music. I'm coming. Nobody can stop me. Nobody can hold me. Nobody. I think that's an excellent fucking theme song. Uh, so I'm going to put that on the B tier. 
I'm putting it on the B tier because it. Uh, the, I remember I can picture his entrance now when he used to come out and that inflatable fucking thing that said MVP on it, and you know his fucking little. But she doesn't do anymore. Like I wish he would just do it. I, I, I maybe he's injured. I don't know. I missed that theme song. I missed the United States champion. Uh, let's move on to another dope one. Let's go to uh, Taz. Razzmatazz. Raz. Sorry. All right. So Taz, he's got a good one. I just don't like how long it takes to get to the actual song part. Uh, I'm gonna put that with the E, just because. I think there's better songs like this one, Tommy Dreamer. That one's pretty good. I'm going to put that as a, in a B. I'm going to put that with B. BCW Originals really did like, they went all out for like the metal and uh, rock shit. I'm particular with sounds. So the heartbeat thing that when it, go, when it starts flatlining, I feel like that was a little bit long and it could have just went boop, boop. Boop, 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 and then play the song. It goes boop, 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 boop. I, I don't know. Just play the song. Like you're taking too long to do the the graphics. Although I do think it's funny how when Taz was just Taz in the uh, Titan Tron theme would just stand there and like bits of him would come out and walk left or right or left and right. I thought that was kind of hilarious. You guys should check out that Titan Tron if you haven't already. Uh, all right, moving on to the last two. Randy Orton, two Randy Ortons. I wanted to get your guys' feedback on this one. The chat is live. I want to hear your guesses on where I'm going to put both of his theme songs on the list. One of them I like, one of them I don't like. So let's go ahead. Hey! On the B. Because I like that one a lot better than I Hear Voices. Which is going to be a C for me. Well, that's my list, guys. Um, yeah, I, pretty complete list here. I did a lot for B. Uh, just because... You know, it's hard to, it, this is completely subjective. It's hard to determine what is a really good theme song and what isn't because it's all interpersonal and like everybody will say, like there's people out there that probably think Gold Dust is an A tier. Oh, all for nothing, this was a fun episode. I keep shaking the fucking camera. What the fuck? No, but that's it for me, guys. Uh, make sure that you uh, tune in to episode 14. Hopefully come out next week. I don't know what it's going to be about. Maybe it's going to be another tier list. Maybe I'm going to have a special guest. Uh, we'll see what happens uh, in, uh, next Tuesday, who I'm going to have on In My Opinion. Um, tell your friends about this, please. And uh, have a blessed day. Out! Two hours later. You know what, Sean? No, I like holding my microphone this way. Not everybody has money to go and get a uh, get an actual desk and and uh, you know ha have their house lo not look like the uh, house of a thousand corpses. All right, you know what? And you know what? Not for nothing. I actually like this chair. It's fucking nice. It, it's uh, it's nice. It's st it's stirb. St it's stable and um, uh, I'll put the microphone down.